Hey, welcome back. It's Forrest Knight, also known as the Media Dude, over here at Media Dude Marketing. In today's video, we're going to show you a really cool application today for your WordPress hosted account. Let's jump right in. We're going to show you this. We're going to show you how to install the JW player onto your WordPress account so you can install videos along right alongside uh, your blog post. It's absolutely cool. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come in, you're going to go to plugins, you're going to click on install new. Here you want to do search. You can do search for video uh, plugins, or you can just do JW Player. So we're going to do JW Player here. We'll hit search, and you'll notice it'll bring up quite a few different players. The player that we're looking for it says JW Player WordPress Flash and HTML Video Player. The reason we want to choose this option here is Flash is primarily for your PC-based type kind of computers your HTML video player is going to be uh, used for your smartphones Android phones and things like that so you want to make sure you have both this JW player is really cool because it will automatically detect uh, what kind of machine you're trying to view your videos on and it will automatically set that up for you click on install now on the next page you want to choose activate plugin it says to complete the installation of JW player for WordPress please click install click install latest JW player and you'll know it's successfully installed because you will see this video pop up. It's just a silly little video. You don't need to worry about that. Next, we're going to do is we're going to come over to JW Player on the side. And it will bring you to a screen that looks like this. Now, a couple of things I want to point out is uh, that you're going to notice uh, you have some stuff up here. You have a default player on the bottom that has a height and width of 400. Now, we want to be able to set this up to be compatible with YouTube. YouTube is 640 by 390, so we want to adjust our height to 390 and our width by 640. The way we're going to do that is we're going to create a custom player, and it'll come in and it'll notice this, your control bar. And I like my control bar across the bottom. Some people want it on top. Some people want it in the over. And you can always come back and play with these if you need to change it. We're going to change our uh, custom player to vintage. We'll just call it vintage because this player is actually going on vintageappletree.com. And I'll leave this all the same. And down on the bottom, we're going to create our height is going to be 390. This will match our YouTube height. And we'll go to 640. And we'll do that. Then we're going to click Save. And it'll automatically come back to this page. Now, if you hit Save, it'll bring you back to this page. So we simply want to go to Edit. I like my control bar to be at the bottom. Now, under Skins, you can choose Default Skins. If you'd like to see what those skins look like, you can choose JW Player Skins here. My favorite on these skins is the uh, play play castle I love it it's really artsy fun looking you'll see this on the video here um, I'm gonna choose my height 390 by 640 to sort of match my YouTube video size so it fits on the page you don't really have to do anything under these other settings here so you can go in and look at them and see what's there if you want to and then you're just gonna come and click save now that we've got this set up what we want to do is go ahead and get your uh, video installed into your post so we're simply going to come up here to our post we're going to um, click on all posts and since we've already got our uh, initial hello world this is just a generic post that you're going to get on your brand new post we're going to click on edit add our video into this post you're going to scroll that down because we want our video to go in this area here first of all we want to do is add media and in front of every video that you have and you do you sort of want to have a first frame or a video or a, a page steal or an image steal um, remember our YouTube videos are 390 by 640 so you want to make sure that that uh, that uh, first frame is the same size I've already created some of those so we're going to go add an image we're going to uh, upload and here it says select my files so I'm going to go find this file real quick now once we've added our image into here, and I've already done this, you can see that there, we're going to go over to external media, and we want to put our YouTube URL. So what you want to do is you want to go to page, and you want to scroll up, and you want to get the entire URL. You want to copy that, and you want to post it into your URL page. You're going to then click add media, and it's going to uh, bring you to this page here. Once you're on this page, what we're going to do next, you're going to see you've got the title here, uh, how to refinish furniture, how to restore old furniture, DIY restoration. You've got a description of the page. So basically, it brings everything that you want into this page. You want to click None. You're going to remove that. Um, you're also going to come down for your thumb URL. We're going to remove this, and we're going to actually add 
the uh, landing page. Now this is just a video that I grabbed off of YouTube, but once you go in and create your own videos, you're going to upload them. They would go in here, so we're going to grab our first frame or our video still in here. The creator of this was uh, Woodworking King. Um, you can leave that in there if you want to. Of course, this is for our flash video. If you want to, you can just use the first frame from the YouTube on that page there. And of course, my default player is going to be Vintage. So just a, a quick recap here to sort of look at what we did. We came through, we, we left the title of the video, we left the description of the video, we removed the link URL, we also removed the thumb URL, uh, we, in, we added our uh, first frame image into that uh, area there, so that loaded up. And again, what's going to happen on your PCs or your laptops, it's going to use the flash, or HTML is going to be for our smartphones, our iPhones and iPads and things like that, and we can just use the YouTube first frame from that. We don't need anything in this area. We're going to select our player, which is vintage, and then we want to insert the uh, JW player, and it puts it right here into the post. Now once we have uh, added our, our short code in here, you'll notice the JW player adds in a short code which makes it really easy. We simply come over and hit update and you'll notice my title up here simply hello world. And we'll click on preview changes and we'll take a look and see how this uh, video uploaded. And you'll notice there it is. Now this is my first frame. Uh, this is the Playcaso. A player that I chose for the option in the pull down and I sort of like this because it's very playful and, and sort of cool looking and it sort of fits right along with the vintage apple tree site but that's how you add your um, video player and of course any of the uh, information that are actually in your blog post you can add that down below the video so what that would look like when you're in editing your post your video would go here and what you want to do is you would basically you can do bullet points down here. What I really like to do is put the title of the video. Again, you'd make sure you have your, your, your video title matches here. So video title. So in this area, your video title should always match your post title. That should be the same. When you come down in here, uh, one thing I recommend is putting the URL to your website. So you type that in here and type in the entire URL, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.yourdomain.com. In this case, it would be vintageappletree.com. And then go ahead and, and begin your post. And you can be, begin your post with some bullet points from the video talking about whatever you have in the video so step one is this step two is that or whatever your description is you can you can type that in here now if you're not into typing and you want to get some help there are a lot of virtual assistants out there that uh, you can send them the video if you recorded this yourself it was a recorded video and you don't really have time you want to move this a little faster you can also hire a virtual assistant most of them can listen to your video um, type this up for you email it over to you and all you've got to do is paste the content right into your post and you're off and running if you want to type it yourself it's your you can either way is fine so you'd put your uh, uh, post text would go in this area here and type whatever and make sure you have your signature at the bottom your signature is always going to include quite a few options we're going to come back on the next post we're going to show you how to add in we'll show you how to build your signature to make it uh, search engine friendly we're going to show you how to add in some cool widgets like uh, your Twitter share feature your, your social share features you'll have all those in there as well and we'll show you how to auto post to some really really cool features so when you do your video and you do your post it'll automatically post and share to Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and it all creates a huge Huge marketing loop, loop and gives you uh, plenty of points of presence out on the internet. Um, next couple of videos, we're going to show you how to set up all this stuff for them on the side, show you how to create categories and tags and things like that. This is Forrest, also known as the Media Dude over at Media Dude Marketing, and we'll see you on the next video.